I'm installing the double uh, seat swivel for the Sprinter van. Before we uh, do any work on the uh, seat and uh, uh, disconnect the airbag hard battery terminal. So here as you can see I removed the panel from here uh, from the right side of the accelerator pedal and then there is a uh, let me so this is the battery disconnect so we just have to press on this right tab down and then just pull it away away from this terminal uh, and then it gets disconnected so as you can see here right just press down on the right and then just pull it pull this away and then you should be good to work on the um, disconnect the airbag components Yes, to start with, uh, I lifted the seat off and then disconnected the airbag wiring. And I think there are four screws that they need you to remove. One, two, three, and then four. Yeah, so once we remove those four bolts, uh, the seat will lift off right away. And this was the airbag connector that we disconnected. Yeah, so I just put it in the back and I'll get the new base. Yeah, the base fit right in place. Uh, just make sure uh, the one with all these extra holes is towards the back and uh, just the one two is in the front and then I think we just need to make sure uh, these two things fall in the groove here but yeah this looks uh, secure I'm going to uh, put the rest of the screws now and tighten it so I have the uh, swivel installed and then the seat uh, I put it back on top of it so yeah as you can see this was the original bolt and this is the swivel and these are the uh, extension uh, bolts that we got uh, on top of the swivel and now the thing is I need to uh, route this airbag harness through this hole so that when the seat swivels right the wire like it just stays in the hole and then it just the seat just rotates around it but the thing is this has a harness in the end of it right so I need to uh, carefully remove all the pins from the harness route it through that and this uh, this hole and then connect it to this uh, by putting back the harness on it so I'll work on it and uh, I'm just uh, documenting the harness like I just took a lot of pictures of which wire goes where and all that and I'm just taking a video here uh, but main thing is I think uh, the way this works is yeah, so we just have to uh, open up that yellow uh, tab on the top, this one, this part. And then I think uh, once you press down on the connector in the part, you can pull it out directly. Yeah, just making slow progress. I got like three of them out and they are still like probably 11 of them I think or 10 of them. So, yeah, so I was able to deepen this connector uh, and I don't see any damage to the wires. So I'm just going to route it uh, through that hole and then through this one uh, and, uh, and then connect it to this uh, and mount it here. Yeah I got most of them routed. Uh, I just have yeah, I got most of them routed. I just have like two more left. Uh, I put some uh, grease just to make it easier. Uh, but then I need to see if there's any friction while turning, rotating the seat and uh, uh, see if there are any sharp edges and all that uh, so that the wire is not damaged. Yeah, and here I have the swivel installed and right now it's, uh, yeah, it's facing uh, towards the back. Yeah, it's a straightforward mechanism. Let me just open this. Yeah, there are four of these knobs that you turn, uh, pull up and turn anti-clockwise. And once you do that, uh, the swivel mechanism will be loose. You can just turn the seat around and then lock them in position. And uh, these, this is the airbag harness that I, uh, uh, as you can see here, right? I routed through this. I still need to uh, secure this. So I'll put some tape and some protective stuff just so that it won't cut by accident but yeah uh, it just rotates around this and then it works fine uh, i haven't noticed anything obstructing or anything like that